Um, a couple of weeks ago, Calf, before you made the signing of Nathan, you said that it was important for you that your signings made an impact. Do you feel you've got that with Pascal and with Nathan? Um, well, obviously I'll tell you in a couple of weeks. I mean, you only know that after the event. But, um, you know, they've both come in, as I say, and give a real energy, good energy to the group and a, and a good freshness. Um, they brought something different in the way they play and their style of play. But we're always looking for better, you know. It's, um, I think it's up to every individual in the squad to, to maximise what they have. Don't accept where they are or, 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 or the position they're in. You know, I think you always want to be looking to, to improve. And, and if we see by the, by the signs, if they see rather by the signs, that they can, um, they can take their game to the next level because of the experience they bring with them, fantastic. Can you see the dynamic of the group change as a manager when a new player comes into it? Well, when I was assistant manager, um, you know, whenever whenever Greg signed anybody, especially if they, they came with a reputation, the uh, the energy levels of the group went up a notch. You could see it straight away, and you know, players wanted to impress. They wanted to impress the new player. They wanted to be impressed by the new player. They wanted to impress the manager. They wanted to feel like they're still part of the group, and they want to show that they they should remain in the team. So it's uh, it's always positive. I mean, it's it's always a good thing. I think when you're winning, it's probably a little bit more. Um, difficult because players are then looking over the shoulder in a negative way when you're losing. But when you're winning and, and you're performing to a high level, to know that the manager's still looking to improve, it's, um, it keeps everyone on their toes. How much